Hi, I'm Dr. Mani here. So today we shall discuss about uh, human reproductive system and the basic pattern of the chromosomes changes between the men and women. So we all know that we have a 46 chromosomes in our body. So these 46 chromosomes, where is it? Is it available in everywhere? Yes, of course, it's available everywhere, starting from your uh, hairline and it goes up to the tip of your toe. Wherever you go, in all the cells of our human body, we have 46 chromosomes. But except in our sexual cells, that is called sperms for the men and for egg cells for the women. So in these two things, what is the special? These 46 chromosomes are won't present. It will be half of 46 chromosomes, that is 23 chromosomes will be present. 23 chromosomes in egg cells and 23 will be on the sperm. When it comes to the egg cells, this 23 is divided into the 22 chromosomes plus one X chromosome that is considered as a sexual chromosomes. When it comes to the uh, men, there are two type of sperms, that is overall 23 chromosomes, that is 22 plus X type as well as Y type. Because if you compare it egg and sperm, there are sperms are having the two type of sperms, that is like 22 plus X and 22 plus Y. So totally 23 chromosomes would be there in the sperm, but there are two types. Whereas when it takes the egg cells, you have only 23 chromosomes, but the 23 will be in the pattern of 22 plus X. So the same type of pattern will be there in the entire X cells of the human. So now what happens during the normal reproduction, human reproduction? When the X cells are present in the human body, when the sperms are moving inside through the normal sexual process, it reaches the X cells. This 23 plus X uh, from the sperm type of 23 plus X, if it reaches the X cells, 22 plus X and 22 plus X in the uh, egg cells combined together, it lead to the 44 plus XX. So totally 46 chromosomes will be there. Whereas in a, what do you call, uh, pregnancy pattern. So the, the end pattern of the baby, it will be a female baby and its uh, chromosome pattern will be 44 plus XX. Suppose if the other type of sperm, that is 22 plus Y, if that particular type of sperm enters into the birth canal, there is already in the X cells 22 plus X, and the Y pattern of the sperm is entering, that is 22 plus Y. So overall, the end pattern of chromosomes will be 44 plus XY. So it end results will be the baby boy. So if you see that, the type of sperm, we have a two type of sperm, that is a 22 plus X and 22 plus Y. These two type of sperms are, decides the sex of the baby. Whereas normally in a society, if you see that, in a family, in a normal uh, basic uh, middle class family or anywhere, in this family, suppose if there is a baby girls are born, the entire society or in the entire family starts the blame from the starting from the wife or the female of the particular girl. So what happened? But the entire sex of the baby is totally decided by the sperm, the different type of sperm, that is the 22 plus X and 22 plus Y. So the female doesn't have any role in playing, deciding the sex of the baby. It is completely rest on the uh, male sperm. So this is what I want to make it clear because the, the disparity among women it starts from the family, particularly in this particular chromosome pattern. So if you understand that, we can help each other to educate the woman as well as make them to understand the fellow counterpart of the men. Thank you one and all.